wheelchair that tower high i rate this australian side i re i reckon player for player the most talented squad at the world cup that is it that is a statement um i'm gonna hold off opinion i think obviously as an english fan i hope you're wrong but yeah you, you can't argue with the talent that's going to be in front of us for this this tournament i'm sure you're going to be very moved by the national anthem of the cook islands the 15 stars on the national flag represent the 15 islands of the cook islands the warriors of the ocean so australia and the cook islands ready for the national anthem before their first games at the world cup Well, what about some of the images you've just witnessed there from both sides? The, the Cook Islands anthem is a beautiful anthem. And the emotion hitting the athletes that are about to watch. I mean, they're about to engage in fearsome, in a fearsome confrontation. But before all of that, the national anthem so moving. Australia will now stand across, uh, arm in arm, across the 40 metre line. And the Cook Island side will perform the DE before the match, calling on the strength of women. As I say, the, the catch cry, if you will, of the Cook Islands, the warriors of the ocean. So enjoy this, folks, watching the Rugby League World Cup live from York.
they're ready to play. I think they are ready to play. Absolutely. They know their challenge tonight, but uh, Rusty Matua has got them ready. The pride of the Cook Islands on show tonight. Let's just confirm those lineups for this one. Uh, plenty of players to watch tonight. Plenty of players probably at their last World Cup, the likes of the number one, Kezi Apps, uh, Ali Brigginshaw, Sam Bremner. You'd have to wonder if they will still be around in three years' time, but it's quite possible. I'm not ruling it out, but it could be their last World Cups. And uh, the Cook Islands squad, well, as I say, they've, they've, got some, uh, they've got some veterans as well. The 5'8", really Natai, was in fact the New Zealand halfback in the 2017 World Cup final against Australia. That's great experience to bring to this Cook Island side here for their opening match of this campaign. Australia numbers have been well criticised. You know that story. And it's a little hard to follow with the women's as well. Michael Smale is in charge of this one. Nice to see a referee smiling. We wish him well and all the officials. We ramp up the World Cup. The men are up to the quarterfinal stage. Women's and wheelchair competitions. This is a festival of rugby league. Definitely the most inclusive rugby league World Cup ever. Last Sunday night, England winning the PDRL final. That was a fantastic moment in Warrington. We've got some sensational quarterfinals coming up. Princess of Wales will be attending at Wigan on Saturday. Sunday, do not miss Tonga and Samoa. But right now, the attention is Australia versus the Cook Islands. So we are underway, it's a breezy night, the rain has kept up and all attention to detail is not there. Yeah, that they was will not, not, good, not wanted that, no. No, that's probably the, the worst start they could have asked for, the Cook Islands. It, they don't, they don't want to give the ball back straight away to Australia, they'll be disappointed with that. You, you can't have your front rower expected to catch it on ready. the full and Caroline Tanavisi there was left looking at it but it is not the job of the prop to catch the ball on the full. So early opportunity with Australia. And uh, Shannon Muffle takes the first run. Hold. 25 Hold. metres away Go. from the Cook Islands line. Lauren Brown, the, the dummy half, is a very Hold. smart player. You could probably lay claim she's one of the most Hold. talented Go. footballers, full stop in, in Australia. Brigginshaw takes them to the right side. And Bremner into the line Go. for the first Go. time tonight. Great to have her back Hold. in the rugby league ranks now. Hold. Mother of two. Go, By the way, the Cook Islands have seven mums in their squad. What an incredible achievement back. for them. Hold. Caitlin Johnston Hold. tackled eight metres away from the line. Big line set to the left. Aiken with a little show of the ball. It's a three on two early. And Isabel Kelly, that is good cover defence. This young halfback. Kuriaratu, that's a very good tackle early. Ball bounced up, maybe knocked on by the Cook Islands, it was. And Australia will get another set right on the Cook Islands line. And back on this left side, little bit of weaving to be done. Uh, Bremner. And this Australian side. They can sense early points, ball popping up from the hands of Aiken. Some very good playmakers in Aiken and uh, Brigginshaw in the Australian halves. But what about the test of the defence early? Yeah, I think they'll do well to keep them out here. Two sets on their line and it, it'll give us some confidence if they can keep them out, but Australia already looking strong. Brigginshaw just delivering short that time to Olivia Koenig. She plays on the, the right edge, back rower. One of the dream team players from the NRLW out in Australia this year. Floating pass. This time, the run is there for the corner for Belite to go over. That's the first try of the night. One of the 
10 on debut. Avalia Pelite has scored the opening try. Yeah, great vision there as well. Just <laughs> head, head up, eyes open, just, just spotting the space out wide and a great pass over the top. Well, this was the worst possible start. And in this wing too, it's going to be hard for anyone to catch the ball, but as I say, it's not the, the job of the person who's going to run it back to catch it. And uh, here is one of the Olympians we are watching at this year's Rugby League World Cup. 2016 gold medalist in the Australian Rugby Sevens. Scores the first four-pointer here. two-time Olympian. She competed at uh, 2020 as well and the Commonwealth Games in 2018. Won a silver medal. That's a, that's a pretty handy little mantle piece to have. It, it is, yeah. And then to, to transfer over to Rugby League, yeah, it's, it's great for the Australians, probably not for, not for the other teams. So first kick of the night from Lauren Brown. Unsuccessful out to the right. I, I don't think any kicking is going to be all that easy tonight it was just it would just about blow the hair off a hippie earlier today in york when i arrived about uh, three hours before kickoff just hoping the rain doesn't set in tonight so a four nil score line and australia off and running uh, here in york the two to get us back underway an impressive stadium it is if you tuned in from wherever you are around the world this stadium only opened february of last year around about eight and a half thousand seat capacity very much boutique stadium it is immaculate so the australians now with kelly on the run six tries in total at the 2017 world cup for kelly brown was caught at dummy half that time by tanavisi yeah, they're just so quick. They're just so quick in the rook, the Australians. They play really quickly, they're flooding through, and I think that'll be a tough job for the Cook Islands today to contain him at the rook. So, for the Cook Islands, sadly, haven't actually had a run of the football just yet. They are desperate to get the ball in their hands. And it's ended up over the sideline there. Ali Brigginshaw's laying a claim to referee Smale. I'm not sure her claim it was it played at. I, I'm tend to go Cook Island's way there. Yeah, didn't play that. All righty. So now they can reset. This is a reboot. Well, you know, when your computer freezes, you, yeah, you reboot, go. you switch on go. and off, and you go again. Well, that's what they can do. Four nil is the score. And they have their first hit up five and a half minutes in. That wasn't the script, I'm telling you, for this Cook Island side tonight. But by the same token, some nerves, I'm sure, will have been settled. Now they can get into the thick of it. Yeah, some big runners for the Cook Islands again. I think they'll cause the, the Aussies a, a, a few problems around the rook. Yeah, good matchup of power games through these forwards. I just hope that the halves and, and that young lady kicking the ball, Shante Kuriaratu, is a really good player. The strength of the breeze. That's a brilliant yeah, kick, a isn't it? Kick, yeah. What a just... kick from inside the 40, her end. That's a wonderful result for the Cook Islands there. Yeah, and a good chase as well, and a good kick pressure. Bringing her a little slow to her feet. And Australia with a little bit of work to be done, just coming away from their own line this time. Julia Robinson coming in for a run. Everyone's got a story here at this tournament. Nice run there by Marple. But in Robinson, you've got someone who was introduced to rugby and rugby league in the defence forces. You know, it goes through all the juniors, doesn't play rugby league. And, and now, in a relatively short space of time, she's playing on this stage. The number 10 for Australia, out on the right side. Yeah, and I think that's a credit to the Australian pathway as well. Just, you know, they're not just, just looking for rugby players, they're looking to transfer athletes in and, and bring them into rugby league. And it's, it's showing in the strength of depth that they've got. Last tackle. And that driving kick from Aiken, just getting away from Wiki, the Cook Islands fullback. And that is an unfortunate moment early in this contest. And it's a rueful look on her face there. 
Yeah, well, lucky there. After a really good set, they've they've landed in a good field position, put some pressure on the Aussies, and and yeah, just unlucky not to get that, just to get that catch and, and go again. Disappointed with that. Could have almost put a case up to say that you knocked it back, but uh, anyway, they're going to have to defend here. This is what you dream of at training. Scrum 10 metres out. You can put on one of your plays and look at the Australian shape behind this scrum. Dante's come in a little closer if they do go left. So here we go. Yes, they will come left. And Aiken, and sure enough, Felite is looming. Doesn't get the ball. Bremner, that's good defence, Cook Islands. Wiki across there. She'll be the most relieved person in the stadium if they can get through this set. Mato on that run. Tonight becoming a dual international. So well done, Shannon. Big honour. The Australians with Brown. What a switch. Oh, boy. Talk about find the keys to the front door and open it up for the Cook Islands defence. Caitlin Johnston. Front rowers love tries like that. Yeah, I don't think she'll score, score an easier one than that in this tournament. Yeah, that's just just great play from Brown there, just to take three or four defenders to the right with her and just just back on the angle from Johnson there. Great try. Yeah, well, sadly for Mackenzie Wiki, the error shortly after try, but that is absolutely sucking in defence. What a good camera shot that is to show the deception of Brown there. Yeah, great play, and I think, you know, I think the Cook Islands are learning a, a tough lesson that you error in, you know, close to your own line, the, the, the Aussies are going to punish you. This is one player, Andrea, who's going to be on the scene for quite some time, Caitlin Johnston. Um, she's a grand final winner this year. So the Newcastle, we had two NRLW competitions, the elite women's competitions in Australia this year, one carrying over from COVID disruptions, and then the most recent one, won by the Newcastle Knights, where the two front rowers, Millie Boyle, as good as any player in Australia, not at this World Cup, and Caitlin Johnston is the other front rower. They are part of the NRLW Dream Team. Um, it was a hell of a combination to have in the one That's side. The yeah. There you go. So in goal area is proving a little slippery here in York. And, uh, Brad Donald pretty satisfied with what he has seen uh, so far. But again, a shout out to our viewers tonight watching in the Cook Islands for some of those clubs over there in the domestic comp, the uh, Titi Kavika Bulldogs, representatives of your club watching tonight. I hope you're enjoying the coverage. You'll see one of your own coming off the bench later, Heiner Tatuava. Love to hear the stories of of those that are inspiring out of the, the leagues, the, the homegrown talent. But there's a few there's a few of the elite as well in this Cook Island side. They're, they're very capable, but hard without the ball at the moment. It's been Australia 90% of possession. Yeah, they just need the, the ball in the Australians' half and just, just to get that little bit of confidence, it, it won't help them ever in so close to their own line and putting themselves under pressure. And as I said, following up points, they're already up inside the Cook Islands half. Lauren Brown is having a night out so far. I'll tell you her backstory when we get a chance about how talented she is across many sports. Apps with the ball this time. Kezi Apps. She fits into the rangy back rower category. Now Aiken, lovely chip. They're coming through at speed. Wiki confronted there with the charge of the light brigade they've done well to scramble there the cook islands because there was plenty of australians pushing up yeah great scramble defense there and you know the numbers are there from australia and just just the bounce didn't quite go their way and the cook islands have to start from a very a very difficult position a couple of meters away from their own line by the way it was a highlighted uh, pre-match Rongo Kia took the run that they only got together a week ago. There are some players who only met each other for the first time a week ago, and then there was dramas on the flight over. Their flight out of Sydney was delayed five hours. There was a technical issue. They got downgraded, would you believe, from premium economy to economy for the first leg to Singapore. But then karma set in, and they were upgraded 
for the Singapore to London leg to yeah. business. <laughs> so that's quite eventful. And then they come and meet the Australians. And the then play game. the Australians yeah. in York. Yeah. Yeah, it is a tough group. It is a tough group. I wouldn't, I wouldn't quite quite go as far to say that the other group is the spa pool, it was alluded to. But uh, yeah, you wouldn't. Uh, I think England have done well to avoid avoid both of them in the group stages. But yeah, I think that other group still quite. You know, judging by the Papua New Guinea Canada Canada game last night, it's uh, still going to be quite a challenge. So Australia again, good field position to start a set on tackle number two already on halfway and here they come rolling forward <laughs> kelly's come in from the centers for a run should make a terrific back rower too isabel kelly i've got no doubt about that there's a defense of marker there so left side aiken just a little cutout ball kelly now back on the run one focus is the line but links up with support and Aiken it is who scores the try she wears number 12 she plays 5-8 for Australia and she really is one of the stars of this Aussie side getting a four point yeah and again really is after the, the Cook Island just over chasing there three four defenders just 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 over chasing and just you know able to come back on the inside told you that Kelly 2017 World Cup two tries in the semi against Canada and then in the big show the, the final two tries against New Zealand um, she, she see again to highlight to our audience just how far women's rugby league has come in Australia Isabel Kelly is a recognizable face you know like everyone who follows rugby league in Australia knows players like Isabel Kelly that's how far they've come it's not it's not just there as a, as a sideshow it's elite rugby league and these are now genuine stars in Australian rugby league yeah and how good is that I think you know the the NRLW and, and the Australian rugby league is a real gold standard and 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 where the rest of the world and, and other competing nations want to get to but yeah they certainly are and they, they have a big following and yeah certainly stars over there I'm sure the try scorers the goal is successful Taryn Aiken wouldn't mind me saying that I'm pretty sure she's playing tonight and would dedicate this performance to her late dad. Brad, she's on test debut tonight. Her dad passed away in 2019. And a short time later, her brother, Kai, passed away as well. I mean, absolute tragedy that young lady had to deal with. They are with her. They would be proudly watching on tonight as she plays her first test here for Australia as we keep saying everyone's got a story at this World Cup and uh, Taryn Aitken has done so well so 16 nil scoreline and uh, we're racing the clock at the moment yeah I think the Cook Island took a took as long as possible they could to get back to this restart I have noticed that Andrea <laughs> but they're allowed kickoffs are very important and uh, they go long through Kerry Matua. Her twin sister is also part of the squad. One, to see Atera here at some point. So Australia now on a roll. It is relentless. This that's is a little bit of... Yeah, that's great. I thought there. That's uh, Brigginshaw up over halfway. This is very much reminiscent of the men's Australia v Scotland. Just Scotland denied any ball, any sort of quality ball. Apps on a, a run back inside there. Hold, hold, hold. Brown, Samoma Talfa with the ball. Parramatta Eels captain in Australia. So a real leader. 25 away from the Cook Islands line. Aiken. And along for apps, Kelly was looming. That's good defense. Mature over the top. Last! Clear the rock! Just Don't wrapping hands around oh. the ball. And that makes a difference. And there you go. So the pressure of the defense forced the mistake. Uh, Lavinia Kitai did well. Yeah, again, they've done well. They've done well to keep him out there and and scramble defence here, yeah, but look how far the Australians come just from that kickoff. They, they really are just rolling down the field and, and putting the Cook Island under pressure. 
to be dirty on that Kezi Apps. That was uh, a lack of attention to detail. Lost control of the ball at the ruck, and the referee was straight onto it. And hence the Cook Islands have the ball. So let's just see what a penalty late in the count here. Something like that be handy for them. Just to give them a little bit of a an opportunity to, to find their mojo. Wiki playing it. 10 metres inside their own half. And this is their power game on show. Natupuna able to offload. She's an excellent front rower, April Natupuna. Yeah, great offload there. Seen her at the Gold Coast Titans in Australia in the women's competition. They've done well this set to put themselves in position to put up an attacking kick. Last tackle. And it is uh, really Natai who decides to pass for Korea Ratu. Boy, oh boy, that's a kick. That's a wonderful take. Yeah, Sam Bremner, yeah. what about that? They'll be happy with that set, though, the Cook Islands. You know, they, they've, they've gone down the field, they've finished in a good position. They just need to put them under pressure now. I think the difference with the teams is just the Australians just are playmakers all over the park and just seem to seem to have that shape, that extra pass, just that... You know, the ball flooding forward. I think the Cook Islands are just lacking that at the minute. It's a pretty fair run we saw just there. The Australians, once they put on some power game of their own, and the thing was that was the winger, Felita, who came in for the hitter. So there's a bit of strength there. Scrappy from the Australians. Nothing much Julia Robinson can do there. And I don't think Coach Donald would be all that impressed with that. Brigginshaw cutout ball, it seemed like a total breakdown there. Someone had to catch it. Yeah. Just just on what you were saying there, though, obviously, just that, you know, they, they don't look the biggest size outside the Australians, but they, they are just riding these tackles and, and you know, metres gained after tackles, these big and they just, they're very strong and powerful. Kitai on this first run. So this is their check. So that's tackle one inside the Australian half. Let's see if they can put on some of their own plays. And again, it is Natupuna with a hit up. The Australians know that she is a danger player. So there'll be two and three in every tackle when she touches it. Yaratu just pushing along to the right. I'm really excited by that, the Cook Islands number seven. I, I just think, you know, real star quality. Wiki into the line. Yeah, she's tipped to be a real NRLW star and, and, you know, only 18 as well in the World Cup. What an opportunity and what an, what, what an experience for her as well. Well, I think when they got together, she hadn't turned 18. So she, she actually wasn't eligible to play, but then uh, ready for the warm-up game. The Cook Islands warmed up for the World Cup with a game against England Knights and a win. And straight through the centre, Telfer with support. It's time for Brendan to run away and score. Sam Bremner, she'll want a double, she'll want, she'll want one for each of her kids, I reckon, tonight. But she scored there. Sam Bremner scoring Australia's fourth try after some terrific work through the middle from Samima Taylor. Yeah, again, they're, ju they're just so quick at the rook. The Cook Islands are, are struggling to contain them at that rook. They, you know, they look tired, they're, you know, they're not getting back, they're not filling in at air defender, and I think you know, with only 20 minutes, 20 minutes gone, they, they're looking tired and a bit out on the feet, to be fair, the Cook Islands, and the Aussies are just rolling down the field, and that 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 was really poor defence, and just easy, easy through there, and for Sam Brenda to finish. So now Matalfa, who set up the try, is one of the longer-serving players, having made her debut with Australia way back in 2014. Uh, player of the Year, 2017. We have the Dalian medal in Australia. She won that. But uh, Bremner scoring the try. I'm sure her second child, her daughter, was only born in November, this time last year. So uh, that's a big 12 months. What a story that is as well, you know. It, to have a child last year and to, to get to the level that they need to be at, the athleticism, the you know, the fitness, the commitment, the dedication to to play for your country to get back is an un unbelievable story. And yeah, and the, how proud she must be as well. Well, that's right. It's the over the course of three and a half years, uh, two children now. Unbelievable. Remner, it's a wonderful athlete. Unbelievable. Plays with the Sydney Roosters in the NRLW 
uh, this year. It'll turn 31 next month, Sam Bremner. So I'm probably being a little bit presumptuous. Look, with, with the World Cup three years away, given that she's had that bit of time up, Sam Bremner, this might be a last World Cup. She might be around for... Well, oh, yeah, uh, 31, why not? Why not? You know, she'd only be 34 at the next one, so, yeah, and you, you still need that experience in your squad. You know, she's, she's one of the three players who were here when, you know, when they won the World Cup away from Australia in 2013. Um, yeah, and so why not? You, you need that experience in your squad, you need that older player, and what a fantastic player she is. Another thing about the Australian fullback, she's got the motivation that she missed the 2017 final through injury. So, you know, denied a chance you know, through injury to win a, a second World Cup. Or, uh, she's part of the winning squad, but didn't get to play the actual final. So that was a disappointment. So Australia back with the ball, eight metres inside their own half. I think the, the crowd is enjoying the show that they've put on so far. It is relentless, the way they're, they're pushing forward. It's just those few errors that have uh, stopped the onslaught played by Johnston, Brigginshaw. Oh, that's a beautiful grass cutting tackle. That one racing out of the line to make the tackle. It was really Natai who made it. And the Australians with apps oh, able to offload what a bold awaken. Players to pick from. Kelly gets it. Oh, passes at the last moment. Extraordinary in goal pass. What an effort from Wiki. Almost saved a try. Would have been just about the best save of the World Cup so far. But somehow Kelly's pulled out a magic trick to pass it. Great try there. Great line. Ball line through there. And what an offload as well. did Wiki come to stopping this try? Kelly couldn't get to ground. Watch it again at home. She's got three coming at her. How well has she done? Oh, oh yeah, that's really unlucky there. That that would have been a great, great try saving tackle, but just, you know, like you said there, they're, they're just flooding through. They're just support play, push inside, outside. It's, it's really great to watch, but, you know, the, the Cook Island do that first contact probably needs to improve a lot and trying to slow them down a little bit, but they do look tired. There's the classic support play, back rower offloading, Aiken support, Kelly. Oh, that's what it is. She must have been, what, centimetres away from touching goal. Right from the sideline, Lauren Brown. Yeah, who'd want to be a goal kicker tonight in these conditions? Unsuccessful. But a 26 nil scoreline now. And the impressive scrapbook of uh, Pelite has a few more big entries in her sporting career. Now a try double on test debut here. She's there. <laughs> has a player ever scored a try without having actually to move a centimetre? She has scored yeah, a try. I, I can't. I don't think I've been she's scored a long time, Andrea. I don't know whether any player's ever done that. She had to just catch it and put it down on the spot. She did not have to move a millimetre forward to score. She had to run quite a ways to get there. Right <laughs> yeah, place, oh, that's right, true. Right place, that's right true. Time. But once she had the ball, that's an interesting one. Very, very touch football, that. Offloading. That is very much a touch football try. Yeah, I think sometimes when you watch the Australian team, they, you know, and even playing against them, you do at times think they look like they're playing, you know, touch, touch rugby and almost almost taking the mick a little bit sometimes how good they are. We saw from the kickoff to another great story. Holly Wheeler's out there. Another one could be a last World Cup. More recent times, knee reconstruction. And they might have been thinking, well, I'm not going to come back. Well, here she is, Kelly. Of loading Taufa, that may have been forward. Just outside the 40 metre zone, Australia. 13 minutes remaining, just under in this first half. A little bit of weaving from Brigginshaw. There is Wheeler. Last tackle out now. One space. Last tackle for the Australians. Will it be short or will it be high? It's going to be high. 
Brigginshaw, Wiki, lonely figure at the back, set herself nicely. Yeah, and yes, if you're wondering, the daughter of a legend in Ruben Wiki. 55 tests for New Zealand. That's a pretty big family tradition to live up to. I met him once. I met him in 2003. I think he had the biggest forearms I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, his, some of his feats massive. of strength. Um, incredible, incredible player, Ruben Wiki. So now the two, a nice ball play short of the line. Like that. Mix it up. And uh, another 10 metres made as a result. Yeah, the front rows have been good for Cookout. The, you know, metres after after tackle have been good. They're big, strong, powerful runners. You know, I think they just need to smarten up a little bit on the edges, get a little bit of shape. I think it's fair to say what you're watching tonight from the Cook Islands, you put them against another team first. Oh, shot! Great shot. Matua! That's the biggest hit of the match tonight. That'll test out breakfast, lunch, and if that little snack before, dip, before the game... That was some tackle right there. Julia Robinson. Get that in here. So Australia in possession. Kelly in from left centre. Robinson to a credit. Straight back to her. Straight back to her feet. How tough are they? And Australia with a juggle. And the opportunity for another try. Too much speed. As a Shanae Shizolka sprints away to score. Yet another one on debut tonight for the Jillaroos and gets the big moment of scoring a four-pointer. Yeah, and it's just great stuff. Hands down that right edge. It's, again, everyone's pushing through. Everybody's wanting to get their hands on the ball and it's just... It's really smart play from the Australians. Really soft hands. The wingers bought in and, you know, dummy and go there. Great try. She's a Queenslander. You were talking about touch football there um, in, um, in Sinead. She was an Australian touch representative in the under-18. So got that, that ball skills early and then converted it into rugby sevens with Australia. And now she's in the 13 side game. It's, it's a good path, isn't it? To, yeah, to pick up a yeah. whole multitude of skills. Yeah, and it, it shows in the skill set that they have. Five years of age, switched to league in 2020 and has already won a grand final in Australia. That's part of the story of Shanae Shizolka. 30 nil. Coach's job is to always find uh, room for improvement. I'm sure he will. But to see a coach smiley after 30 minutes, oh, yeah. you know, take a screenshot of that. You know, that's. that's I think there's more of. to come as well. You know, Brad Donald's already said that the next game we'll, we'll probably see a quite a different team as well for that for the next game they've got against France he, he wants to give everybody a run out and have a look at look at everybody so we'll probably see quite a different team in the next game but what you know what a job to coach to coach this squad well these two sides did play at the 2017 World Cup and it was 58 to 4 to Australia now I, I don't think the Cook Islands have gone backwards I think they're a stronger side but Australia's gone into warp speed in the last five years, so I think you're going to see that. The scoreboard will be a gauge of, uh, yeah, that's a little marker that you've got from the last time they played in 2017. This is a stronger Cook Island side, but Australia are putting a space here. Yeah, and I think that's the case, you know, over the, over the World Cups over the previous years, it, you know, teams have been a lot closer, but yeah, the, the Aussies just seem to have kicked on. Quite, oh. quite dramatically more than any other team. Knocked back from Brigginshaw, the call. And uh, Wheeler will bring it back Out. for Australia. Let's go. Okay to say if you're one of the, the, the 30-somethings in the Australian side, we can put it that Two. way. Strong Three. metres. Yeah, Samaima Taupa. Could emerge as player Three. of the World Cup. Taupa. She right. is... Uh, at the absolute peak of the powers. So Aiken to Apps. So you got Apps on the left side, and they play Koenig on the right. They were the starting back rowers tonight. Is Wheeler. And now Australia with Kennedy Cherrington on debut as well. In fact, three of the bench are playing their first matches for Australia tonight. 
Bremner's kick, it's pinpoint. Australia have got another one. Julia Robinson scoring the try in the corner. But uh, say thank you to Sam Bremner for that. That was executed so well. Yeah, what a skill set. I think they're, they're just showing the range of range of skills and range of tries that we're going to see tonight. You know, little chips over the top, little offloads, and, and, a, and a pinpoint kick there from Sam Bremner into the corner. Too, too easy, too easy, if I'm honest. You know, the winger pulled back there and the winger's picked it up. Yeah. Julia Robinson, it is. Told you earlier, joined the army as a 19 year old, and it's in the defence forces that she discovered playing rugby league. She'd actually been a netballer as a junior, but uh, got a real taste of it, and now a love for it. And at 24, you know, that's that's not a long time ago to take up the sport. No, and I, I think it's it's probably worrying for the for the rest of the nations how how many years some of this squad has got in them as well. Imagine them together for the next few years as well. So now the tough one from out near the sideline. Good strike, certainly the power, but off to the left of the posts and a shake of the head from Ali Brigginshaw. So Julia Robinson, the latest to score here for Australia. And that's another thing that we have highlighted. They're certainly not, you know, a left side dominant team. They have they have strike left and right. So obviously that is going to be a threat to the likes of England and New Zealand. Every side. I think for the Cook Island, if if they're going to get any joy or get get anything out of the game, they need to put they need to get the pressure on Ali Brigginshaw and, and the halves and just put a little bit more pressure on them because they're just running the show and they've got all the time in the world to pick their to pick their choice and their kick or pass and. Yeah, they need to get some pressure on the halves. I'll say, Andrew, it's got a little cold tonight. What did you say, Andrew? Um, uh, th this... Not as cold as it was in Leeds yesterday. Is that right? Okay. But it is cold, yeah. It's been a, a windy, grey day with the rain sweeping around, but uh, a real chill to the air tonight. It's a bit warmer than it normally would be at this time of year, to be fair. Okay. I do remember the 2000 World Cup quite um, tragically. They were flooded out. We wouldn't have been playing in York. If uh, from 2000 was one of the worst floods they ever had, and that was right during the World Cup. That was, uh, that was about six weeks of some of the worst weather I'd ever seen. And Brigham Shaw, she's had the ball knocked out of her hands. Well done, Cook Islands. And, you know, they've got to just, they've just got to keep at it and, and, and take opportunities when they present themselves. And they forced a mistake there. Yeah, they're not giving up and, you know, they're not going to get many opportunities with ball in hand. So, yeah, they've just got to make some of it count. Here it was, Brigham Short. Fair enough, play out of market, don't give up on the chase. And as a result of that, they're 30 metres away from the Australian line. Yeah, two big carries there as well, leading from the front. Nicky Stevens now into the uh, dummy half roll for this Cook Island side. Jundalup giant from West Australia here for the Cook Islands. Pushed along with uh, Korea Ratu. Four up together. Hold. This is the best field position they've had in the game. Brilliant Atai. Kick is out. Oh, it's good. That forces Bremner to take absolutely no chances. Line drop out Australia. Way better Cook Islands. Yeah, and that'll give them a little bit of confidence to get a repeat set and, and see if they can build on something now, just to just to keep the possession and, and keep moving forward and, and keep building that confidence. I love seeing a back row up with the headband. Andrew, just a little favourite of mine and for the men's game. Great rugby league fan. Remember big Paul Sirenen coming over here, always had the headband. Holly Wheeler, she's doing the same. The ball there, evading Natukuna. Has been a standout in the Cook Island forward so far tonight. Have a look at the offload. She's almost unstoppable. Yeah, she's been really good and, you know, a lot of carries as well. One, move! Hold! 22 Hold. metres away Go. from the line. And the best part of the set to work with. Two, out now! Longakia there. Hold! Hold! Go to... So, will we see 
Korea Ratu, the seven, or Greeley Natai create here for the Cook Islands. Stevens, they're going to take a power run to Mumakara with a run at the line. Look at that, count the defenders, there's five in the tackle. Yeah, they did a quick flare now. And then a high and wide ball, Greeley Natai kicks before the last. Good catch. Robinson able to cover up. It's another line dropout. I think is Julia thinking she left from the field of play. Closely run thing. Yeah, and another good kick there. And they'll be pleased with that. Another repeat set. If they can just keep the pressure up, you know, hopefully they can get some points on the board. Brad Donald will mind this, side being tested out, goal line defence. Yeah, again, that's, that's what they need. And when you're putting big points on another team, it's, it's always good to get challenging. You need to be tested, you need to you need to see where how, how players react under pressure. Barangi out on that left side, she is one of the strike players in attack. Tackled 10 metres away. In fact, this Cook Island side have a couple of players who... Brothers were playing in the Men's World Cup. As the ball has rolled loose, it may be. Was it knocked out by Australia or not? Uh, knock on, I think. Seven. Seven. Just look up from Tuana. So it goes against her in Australia at 36 nil. So they haven't kept up with the clock unless they score in this set here. And they'll, they'll probably have a couple more tackles before half time. It'd be the longest range try of the game if they do come up with something. I'm not You'll writing it, it off. Oh, yeah. shot oh, great, again. Great contact there. What about that hit? Well, that is enormous from Lavinia Kitai. We've seen the two biggest tackles of the match have come from the Cook Islands. Watch that. That's a beauty. Well, that warms you up going to half time. Yeah, they'll take a little bit of confidence from that last five, ten minutes of Cook Islands. It, it looked better. They got some repeat sets and, and was putting the Australians under a little bit of pressure. So the tournament favourites are off and running at the World Cup. The defending champions, first half against the Cook Islands. It's Australia 36. The Cook Islands deal. So a 36 nil score line. Um, sadly for the Cook Islands, they they made a mistake from the kickoff. So it was the worst possible start, and Australia's scoring steady throughout the half. We can go pitch side though right now with Jenny Meadows. We can, Ali, you scored the first try, Australia, on two minutes. Vossi on commentary was saying Australia were like the charge of the light brigade. You were pretty relentless out there in attack. Yeah, we've got high standards and we want to stick to them. So our job is uh, be relentless, be aggressive in defence, and we've got so much to work on, but I'll be happy with that first half. Will you be happy just to carry on as you've already done the first half? Is that the plan for the second? No, each half we build, we build, we get better each half. And I'm so proud of all the debutantes and can only see how much better they can get. Enjoy your break. Thank you. Kimmy, Aura, that was a tough first half. You got some possession and good possession towards the end. But this is a tough Australian side, isn't it? Yeah, we just got to... Stay comp composed, um, stick to our sets and just complete our sets. Um, we're just giving too much ball away, so suck it up in the next half. You go inside, you'll have a team talk, you'll have a regather, you'll have a little bit of a break. And what will the plan be for the second half? Look, we just have to play with heart, complete our sets like we said, and then just, beat the, just get out there and hurt them. That's all. Enjoy it. Thank you. Oh, I love that answer. <laughs> it was all it was all stock standard. Then it was, and we're just going to get up there and hurt them. Maybe. Yeah. They really could have just kept yeah. going through the middle rather than go round. Yeah, I, th I think Alan Brigginshaw just summed it up at that half time and just said that they probably won't be happy with three errors. They probably won't be happy with the ball in touch. I think they just 
they, they set the bar so high and have such big standards that they'll, they'll always be looking at little things to work on. 36 nil scoreline at the LNER Community Stadium. The word immaculate in the first, first half. That is what it is. Underway off the boot of Matua. And, oh, and boy, oh boy, there's a curse. Uh, textbook, yeah, same as that the, is same horrible as stuff. Kickoff. What is it? It's um, the, the York Football Club that plays here. Have they had a worse trap than that ever? Holly Wheeler. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, probably a bit too casual there. <laughs> that's, that's an ugly moment for Holly. I hope she takes it well. So Cook Islands get a chance to score first points of the second half. Matua taken sideways there. I, I don't think they've started to set inside the Australian 20 tonight. So suddenly the door opens for them. Stevens. They're probably going to get a little excited here as Kitai takes the run. We saw that big hit from Kitai just before half time. Tanavisi close to the line, oh, almost spun her way over there. Tanavisi very close to scoring. Wayward pass. Wiki's not going to get to it. The urgency of the Australians. Bremner knocks it forward. Cook Islands will get the ball. Referee, I think, found a double knock on in all of that. Yeah, they're lucky there to get the ball back. I think just on that attacking set, you know, they've carried the ball four times and they don't seem to have a plan B, the Cook Islands at the minute. I think, you know, they were shaped up to the left and they probably should have had a play, but yeah, lucky to get the ball back there. So they have the scrum feed from attacking the goal line. They're now. 40 metres away. And it is uh, Tupo Wichman on that run from the scrum base. Energy is there, and so it should be straight out of half time. Stevens taking that run. She's made a difference to their attack, getting in a little closer. Annika Stevens. Got up to held up. 15 metres away from the line. And suddenly the crowd uh, wanting to get on the backs of, of the Cook Islands. Really, Natai. Closed off there by Samoma Taupa. He goes the power running again. The Moore Makata on that run. Five away from the line. Stevens. Switch. Really, Natai's kick. Perfect. Oh, it's been knocked on. I'm sure it's a knock-on, and the referee right there doesn't need video referee intervention. Yeah, that's really unlucky. That's a really neat little kick there in behind, and caught, caught the Aussies napping a little bit there, and really unlucky not to ground that. Ooh, that, that would have been a big moment for Shaz Tamua Makata to score that try there. We would have heard the cheering from the Cook Island. I reckon. Big hand off there. Tumul Makata, her local club, the Tupapa Panthers. Shout out to you tonight. Wheeler on the run here. Just like that, Australia at 10 metres inside the Cook Islands half. Talfa and Aiken. Apps, oh rather, yeah, apps off loading. Bremner support. Australia are away again, just a little too good on that edge. Some of their most experienced players combining. Yeah. And Sam Bremner scoring yet another try. Kezi Apps always hits that really good line, you know, back on the inside and just he's just breaking the line for fun and she's just always got that, that little offload game in her and, and the backup's always there and a, a great finish by Sam Bremner, Bremner there just to go around, just to go around the winger. Nine years ago, in one of the pool games, it was against uh, against France. She got five. Sam Bremner, pretty sure it was five. Try score in the final back in and over to Ali Brigginshaw. And Brigginshaw wayward with that shot. That wasn't a great strike. So there's another player, Ali Brigginshaw, again to, to highlight to our international audience just how big 
she is. Everyone in rugby league in Australia knows Ali Brigginshaw and would say, would probably use the word legend. She's that good. Stop the match right now. Lady playing the ball. Simone Mattel for his player of the match. Gee, she's having a game here. What talent she is. Oh, with the Cherrington there. And now roll on, set restart. That makes it tougher. The Australians with uh, Polite, who scored a couple of tries in the first half. Australia get an offload game going. Look out. To Leah Fumayono is out there. A dummy half right now. One of those on debut. Back from any number of injuries. Brigginshaw's put it down. Well, commentators curse. Yeah, Not restricted to the Men's World Cup. It's the Women's World Cup as well. We can pull them up. We can even pull up a legend. There it is. The old hands turn into Dolphins flippers. Couldn't get any grip on the ball there. Ali Brigginshaw. I think the way the Australians are shaping up an attack as well is he's, he's, he's making it really hard for the Cook Islands to defend. They're, they're not always necessarily, you know, lined up in a conventional way. They've just got push inside and out, and it's, you know, the Cook Islands are finding it really difficult to defend. Australia, by the way, are going to be back here in York on uh, Sunday night, UK time. Uh, Monday morning for our Australian viewers playing France in their second match. I'm actually quite looking forward just to the crowd at the French match based on what I saw and experienced earlier tonight. What a terrific atmosphere, the French supporters. Yeah, they do it. They're quite, they're quite hostile as well. I think when you go to France and you're in some of those stadiums there, and, and the, it, it can be quite, a, quite an atmosphere. The, the, um, the Brazilian samba band yesterday was good as well. That was, that was loud. Brilliant, though. Adds to the adventure that is coming to a Rugby League World Cup. Cultures collide. Kick through by Brilliantai, not a best attacked by Bremner, weaving and stepping and uh, spinning away almost a halfway. Sam Bremner, yeah, great take. And again, look, look where the Aussies are starting this set on halfway, rolling forward. This is the work of Sam Bremner, really attacking the ball there. We saw another run for Lite. You know, a winger coming in. That's that's probably the fourth or fifth time tonight she's come in for a hit up right through the middle and damaging runs. Oh, shot again. That is the third big hit of the night. Alison Bremner get up from that one. That was enormous. High ball fielded by Julia Robinson. Cook Islands are going to play it down. It, it may be Brilli Nazi uh, who's down. Play on for Australia. And it is Brigginshaw, Ricochet. Cook Islands have got the ball. And Brilli Nazi is down on the 20 metre line. And now we will stop play. Well done to hang on there, the Cook Islands. Yeah, get, and, you know, you, you mentioned Plite just coming in and, and taking some carries. The, the Australians look busy. They're looking for work. They're, they're pushing inside and out. They're, you know, they're all, they're all looking for the ball and, yeah, it's, again, it's difficult to defend, but the Cook Island did well there, scramble defence. I think sometimes the Australians don't know what they're doing, as in it's just so off the cuff, it's just, you know, it's just push support, it's, it's little offloads. If you're new to women's rugby league, yes, the hits are just as big. Nice. You've seen it tonight, three of the cleanest shots yeah, you'll I see. A, I was a belter, that one. And Sam Bremner, how tough is she just to bounce back to her feet after that last one? So the Cook Islands 10 metres away from their own line. This is this is hard work here. Epps is driving in with Aiken. Yeah, he needs some big carries here. I like that one, yeah. yeah Matua's been the Terminator in defence, so making 10 metres of her own there. Last tackle. Only a, a 17 metre gain in the set. The kick from Korea Ratu. Australia ready to attack Robinson. And then Shizuka on the run. So play one, 30 from the Cook Islands line. Through Robinson, Brigginshaw, bringing it back to centre field with Koenig. 10 on debut for Australia tonight. Playing their first test. Wheeler, Taufa. And, uh, 
no breaking through there of the defence. Good tackle by Lavinia Kitai. It's been really good for them, Cook Island, and there's an error. So put down a little soft from uh, Isabel Kelly. Only the one try since half time. Yeah, an unforced error again, and I think when, when Australia look back and, and do some analysis on this game, I think, you know, six errors now and, you know, a couple of them unforced, I think they'll be, with their standards, they'll be looking at looking at to improve that. So Brad Donald on screen. Yeah, yeah, I think it's half time. I, I think the, the serious uh, faces come up there. Side their 20 said it in the first half they they just need that little bit of repeat said if they get a penalty or can draw some ill discipline out of the australians yeah and a, a little bit of time with the ball yeah and they got that in the you know a little while ago a couple of repeat sets and yeah they, they got a little bit of they got a little bit of joy from it but they're just struggling to get anywhere so Korea R2 on the end of that one, and they get all the way across to the right-hand side and headed almost to the dressing rooms there in the tackle of Kelly. Now, Matua <laughs> got a little closer to the edge of the seat on that run. Yeah, this is a better, much better set from the Cook Island as well. They're just looking to play with the ball a little bit more. They can make a lot of ground in possession. Korea Ratu's kick right across field. And uh, well taken by Shizolka there for the Australians. Second tackle was interesting from the front rower uh, Natupuna. But to this point in the second half, vastly different to the first half. 12 and a half minutes gone. And only the four points on the board in the second half for Australia. Yeah, much better from the Cook Islands. You know, a few areas from a uh, few errors, sorry, from Australia. And again, they won't be happy with it. But yeah, the Cook Islands have, have come out a little bit better and, and seem to be managing them a little bit better. Hold. Release! Koenig Bear. Another run. And we'll see that. I think she gave probably, herself away. That's there. why I said Cook Islands need, but the ill discipline goes against them there. Ball has been deemed to be stripped away in the tackle. That's Koenig. Two in the tackle there. Sometimes it can go the other way, but not this time. Australia have got it. Time for them to attack. And uh, with interest goes Wheeler, charging into the line there. Yeah, she's been good since she's come on. Mayano directing the side around now, out of acting hard. Cherrington to play the ball. They are right on the goal line. Opens up. That is a moment. I do hope her mum, Michelle, has made it here in time for the first game for Australia for her daughter, Talia Fui Mayono, scoring for the Gillaroos. She's entitled to break down and cry her heart out because she was written off as a as an athlete, as a rugby league player, with all the injuries she had. And she's kept at it and kept at it and now she's a try scorer for australia oh great story and a great try and again you know scramble defense there from the cook islands have held them out quite well but again the australians just shape up either side options either side and they're just making it really difficult to defend i think there's doctors in australia that have uh, bought waterfronts on the sydney harbour on the back of her medical bills she's had that many operations and and, and, and i'm talking serious i'm talking year-long injuries that she's had to come back from um so you know it's a, a triumph for it now at 23 years of age broken collarbone acl shoulder surgery all those things she's gone through and all the rehab sessions and the fact so, she still wants to play rugby yeah, after that yeah i think i think one doctor did say that's it it's done done and dusted her brother uh, also plays a nice moment with uh, Holly Wheeler. She appreciates the, the enormity of that achievement. But her brother Tyrell Fui Mayono plays with the St George Illawarra Dragons in the NRL. I don't think she gets smile off her face there. I think she's, I think she's pretty happy. Yeah. And so she should be. Her, yeah. 
try and find out for you. Mother has sacrificed much to follow her children around and watch them play rugby league. I think there was a story that she sold her jewellery to be able to go and watch son Tyrell play across in Western Australia. He was a star Australian schoolboy and, of course, has played NRL. But to make the trip, she uh, went down the port break. Wow, that's, that's dedication. I think, you know, and I think that the stories we've, we've talked about, the cultural traditions around this World Cup, but, yeah, the families are stories that the players have in, you know, to oh, be no. here. From Johnston, has got Australia going again. Good tackle. Mackenzie Wiki. She's tried to heart out the Cook Islands fullback tonight. Oh. Lovely ball, Fumano again. This time in uh, try scoring, setting up mode for Julia Robinson to score. That's a brilliant few minutes for the young dummy half for Australia, Talia Fumano. Great vision there as well on the back of some really quick play of the balls. Moving down the field really quickly and, and just that vision just to spot that pass. Really clever, really, really skillful. Sprinting away to score the try, Julia Robinson. We saw her in the first half. Ipswich born, Queenslander in the side. I think it's three time, three time grand final winner. Now with the Brisbane Broncos, who, who didn't make the finals this year. Uh, Robinson, a member of, they pick the Dream Team the same as they do in the Super League and the NRLW Dream Team had Robinson in it on the wing <coughs> so now we're, we're trying another kicker with Holly Wheeler don't mind this, you get called up to take the shot and it's right pretty much almost in front there you go they're the worst ones though, the pressure your goal kicking record? Was there any? Uh -huh. I, I, have I, one. I don't I know one? what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I've probably missed more in front of the stick. Have you worked out if you're a right or left footer? Yeah, just about right. Yeah, yeah. Go. So Australia have hit 50 and now passed it to 52 nil. We've been lucky with the weather. The rain has uh, fairly much stopped now. Wind has died down as well. So let's hope we get a run of good weather for the matches up here. I, I do think over the weekend, we've got a bit of an issue with your trains, Andrea, here in the UK. Oh, we've got a few strikes. Start on trains, yeah. It's more a day, what, are, what day are we not on strike? Um, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, uh, strikes coming up. So that's yeah. going to make it difficult for fans to get around. Bit of a nightmare. You'll have a chauffeur though, won't you? Well, oh, please. <laughs> I was going to get one of those scooters, actually. You know, just going to... What do you have to do? Swap the car well, and get the scooter? Yeah, How much bike. battery would yeah. I get out of a scooter? Could I go from Hull to York or not? Another good shot there. How many have we seen tonight? Yeah, There's great a lovely little package of one-on-one uh, -on -one tackles. Yeah, Johnson's been good for Australia. A real handful. There it is. Front on. Get a bit of meat in it. Like that. Tackle of uh, Kitai. So look at Kitai. She's, she's proven herself uh, in that uh, department. Again, a set restart doesn't help the cause. Briggenshaw up and through the line. Here comes Bremner. Here comes another one. Just like the other one from Sam Bremner. It's a triumphant return for her tonight for Australia. We told you 31 next month. This time last year gave birth to her second child, and tonight she is lighting it up in York. Yeah, and too, it's really too easy there for Ali Briggenshaw. Just, just ghosted through the line there, almost untouched, and, and had three or four gold jerseys to pick from there to, to send the pass to. Well, her firstborn, Reef, little boy, he, he'd, be, he'd be old enough, I think, to appreciate. There's mummy. He'd know, born in 2019, that he's getting to see this. She's pretty good, your mum, Reef. She's pretty good. Well done, Sam Bremner and Ali Briggenshaw. Back in legend status, Andrew. We haven't yeah, yeah. written a career Forget off altogether with yeah. our praise. Oh, again, against the Tide Cook Island defence, just, you know, they're just, they're just not able to move across quick enough. Doesn't have a big follow-through 
wheel it. Oh, stab. But uh, two from two from close range. And uh, 58 nil. So, what's that? Four tries since half time. There's Brigginshaw. There's the support play. I do get confused with these numbers, though. Oh, yeah, please. Don't start. <laughs> I'd, I'd say I'll make this statement then in light of our previous conversation the numbers are worse than the trains than the strikes I think that's how bad the Australian numbering system is and I speak on behalf of about an entire rugby league nation Have, haven't met one person say what a great idea not one <laughs> what is the idea behind it well <laughs> number same numbers of the squad 1 to 24 but they just went against naming their top 17 right, okay. from the top so then the captains go and, and Australia got more than one captain so we go one two three I think we've got three captains and then outside of that then you go back in terms of experience four and so on so the rookies at the 10 on debut get numbers what 15 through 24 right, okay. it's, oh, it's all over the place really it's a dog breakfast the Aussies like to be different though don't they well, I, I've, got to, I've, got to, I've got to retort there. I've got to say, no, we don't, actually. We, we're, not, we're not in support of this. This is this is total maverick stuff that they came up with this number. Australia with the ball, again. A controlling possession at the moment. Johnston on that run. Doing her friends back in Newcastle and Australia proud to... Oh, there's a high tackle from the halfback. Korea Ratu. It was a loose arm. There's nothing incredibly dangerous about it. Looks spectacular. The grab, more than a swinging arm. And uh, to Aiken's credit, she got straight to her feet. So Australia 21 metres away from the line. The, the game's been played in a, a really good spirit. And that's despite the fact we've had some good shots. There's another one there. Uh, Natupuna with that tackle. Slows down the play, the ball from Caitlin Johnston. Australia right side, Bremner stepping, she's got four, Sam Bremner, five against France nine years ago, she may equal, she may better that tonight. Four tries for the match from the Australian fullback. Yeah, again, I think they've just got, you know, when the halves are getting the ball, they've just got three or four options, they're just picking, they've got the time. And that's just a, a real walk in for Sam Brenner again. Again, the, the push from the inside from the Cook Islands are just aren't just aren't arriving. They're just walking around in that middle and struggling to struggling to get across. I said earlier she'd want one try for each child. Now she got two tries for each child. That's that's nice. Oh, she needs to have some more children. So now Reese, how about three? You know, this is like a Seinfeld episode. Get get two home runs. Ah oh, dear. So Australia. Now fatigue starts to set in for the Cook Islands. If Australia get a lot of ball in this last 16 or so minutes. Yeah, it's going to be a long, it's going to be a long 15 minutes, I think. Lauren Brown is our first choice kicker again. Little cameo from Holly Wheeler. She'll put the cue on the rack with a 100% record from in front of the posts. And Brown, that looks a little better. Brown successful. Well done. 64 nil is the score. Australia, the defending champions. And another try to their fullback, Sam Bremner. She could bob up anyway. Like she could play dummy half. She could play half or five eight. You just want the ball in the hand. Sam Bremner. Yeah, such a such a talented athlete. Anyone got a clock on Cook Island? Go back, go back for the kickoff. It's a particular setup, meticulous. Just getting, getting the air in a little bit. I think, I think I'd do the same. Kerry Matua has tried her heart out for the Cook Islands tonight. Oh, the effort's been there. They, they, they haven't stopped. You know, the, the, the effort and the rules there, the passion there. It's just, you know, against this talented Australian side, I think they're just, they're just struggling in every, every aspect. There'll be a few bruised Australian bodies which will um, which will support 
the statement of effort from the Cook Islands tonight. It hasn't. Oh, definitely. There's been some really big contacts, and you know, as a as a spectator and as a crowd, that that's what you that's what you like to see as well. And that's the expectations you get from some of the Southern Hemisphere teams as well. They're, they're certainly big hitters. Now Australia really brown as a running forward pair, absolutely sprinting onto the ball uh, to advance some 10, 15 metres. away from the Cook Islands line they've, they've passed 50 they've passed 60 now 70 in their sights Aiken this time digging deep into the line good tackle again by Korea Ratu she's a tough seven too the the 18 year old last tackle kick through well done and uh, the Cook Islands coming up with the ball Tatuava. there you go the cheer from the Titika Vika Bulldogs their favorite Oh, really Coming out with a good side as well. There you go. Samama Taufa, well, she took off yesterday. That's how early she took off. So caught offside, and uh, the Cook Islands getting a little bit of what we call a piggyback upfield. Yeah, and that'll be relieving for them. The, the Australians have finished close to the line, and you know, those those tough carries out of your own 10 have just been relieved a little bit there. Well, it's five metres inside their own half. Can the, can the crowd lift them and see if they can come up with something, conjure something up in attack? Brazil scored uh, in their match against England despite being well beaten. Yeah, try to be nice. No, for the spectators, for a neutral, uh, try to be nice for the Cook Island. Working on the edge, just playing uh, Natukuna a little wider there. That, that could be from an offload that helps. Oh, referees watching it. I think we're saying challenge. We haven't had a challenge all night. Oh, there's a too cold to have a challenge. Yeah, we're going to have a challenge. Here we go. So everyone's going to stand around in the cold, are they, or not? Are we going to have a challenge? They were checking that probably the 10 seconds has elapsed. No, we won't have a challenge. We will not have a challenge and we'll have a scrum 10 metres inside the half. Got to fire in your decision quicker than that. Yeah, no real stripping action in the tackle there. I'm not saying there wasn't a hand around the ball. Yeah, a bit unlucky, I think. I, she's worked really hard, carries in. She's had some big energy for the Cook Islands and a little bit unlucky there. Australia attacking down the left side. Matua's effort again in defence. Yeah, enough on there. Great, great Quicker effort, player on her outside. She appeared to be beaten, but she stuck at the task. Kerry Matua. Now we will have a challenge. There we go. So delayed response now on a cold night in York. You got tackled with 11 and a half to go. It's 64 nil a captain's challenge. Video ref to match director. We've got a captain's challenge from Australia on the ruling of a knock-on. Could I please see your best available angle when the ball is passed back infield? So we've got play on at that point. When Sam Bremner passes the ball, she's still in the field of play. Can I just have... Um, that angle again, please. It's looking like it comes off. Yep. Looking like it comes off the Australian player's hip or leg. Yep. Okay, so at the point the whistle is blown, uh, number 22 has possession of the ball, so we have a mutual infringement. The challenge is successful. It's not, it's not quite winning the lottery, but it's uh, still a result for the Australians there. Yeah, that's unlucky for the Cook Islands as well. Good good scramble defence from a two of there just to, just to catch on that edge. But, yeah, we've got a great captain's challenge. Are you liking the captain's challenge at the World Cup, Andrea, or I not? I like it, yeah. I like it. As a front row, it also gives you a rest. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, th I think it's an opportunity because, you know, referees don't... Always 100% get it right, um, and I think with the players are there and, and in the action and they're confident, then it's yeah. I think it's a good, 
be a good thing. We joke in Australia, front rowers aren't allowed to captain the challenge. You don't get a say. Wingers, uh, front rowers and interchange forward to come on with their first hit-up. Um, aren't allowed okay. to captain's challenge. Is that up there with drop goals as well? Front rowers aren't allowed yeah. to drop goals. Brigham Shaw and Bremner. Can she get five? Sam Bremner. That'd be something to say. Two five-try hauls in, uh, in World Cups. Australia with uh, Taufa. Probably Bremner's gone past Taufa in man of the match. Uh, calculations. That's Andrea's job tonight to come up with the best on ground. Aiken floating it over the top, right to the corner, and sliding in for another one. It is a hat trick on debut for Ivania Polite, the 2016 Olympic gold medalist in rugby union sevens, has got three in her first match for Australia in rugby league. Yeah, and again, great vision, ball over the top. Just Max, again, just easy. They're just the halves are just picking, picking the passes, picking the options, and have just been given the time to do so. Now here you go, passing game. How much it's improved. Aiken sees space, executes, ball falls right onto the chest. I mean, that's brilliant playmaking. Yeah, exactly. And I think that that is the difference. What I'm seeing from the Australian team today is just that skill execution. I think all the teams we've seen over the over this weekend i think that was what you know let them down a little bit is that final skill execution but the the australians are, are putting it on a, a two fence today as well and just showing just showing where they're at well you've been watching the men's world cup it's really been a tournament uh for the wingers to star there's you know just getting a haul of tries and polite's work tonight not just the tries but the hit up she's taken um you know she's had 10 at least 10 carries of the football coming in off a wing as well so yeah, it's been impressive. Big carries, yeah and i think as well as a pat that's relieving that's what you want from your back three is to is to, to come in and carry in and help but i think that you know the back three for australia as well they just they just turn up everywhere and push support and that's why they're getting a lot of the joy it's just the the offloads and just just running into space and yeah i think they're just they are just they're a real threat across the across the pitch so again australia after they get through this one tonight they will prepare for uh, Sunday night UK time against France here in York. That cook on here, another kick off at 68 nil, eight and a half minutes to go. Good morning to the Australian and uh, New Zealand viewers tuned in right now watching it. We've been uh, highly entertained with this, and earlier tonight, New Zealand and France, same can be said of that. Uh, New Zealand coming up with a uh, a big win, 48 nil. I think on par, Australia have been better than New Zealand. Um, and and then it's up to you, Andrea, to decide how you're going to gauge the England performance against the Australian performance here. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a tough one because I think you know Brazil are obviously a different a different team to to the Cook Islands, and it's really hard to judge. But yeah. It's a tough one. I'm not. I, I thought England were good yesterday. I, I thought they were good, so I mean, I'm still confident. And so you should be. Well, look here, pulled off a big tackle on the previous play. Well, they might do. They want to go another captain's challenge. I mean, now we've got seven and a half to go, and it's 68 nil. Now nah, we'll just we'll just let that one slide by. I think the uh, I think the real test will be the you know for England it'll be Papua New Guinea next Wednesday that, that'll be a big test and a, you know and see where they're really at and I think for Australia you know here next Thursday Australia New Zealand will, will be one of the games of the tournament the women's tournament well you know games of the, the men's tournament as well yeah, it's always agreed. a fantastic battle between those two teams agreed because no matter how high or how loudly Australia crow uh, the fact of the matter is New Zealand have won more rugby league world cups than Australia yeah and fantastic talent and you know it, it it's never always written it's you don't know what's going to happen on the night as well and New Zealand are a fantastic team and that that will definitely be one of the matches to watch all right so the Cook Islands the more Makara with the ball Off, uh, Agnes Dean who's back in at the dummy half roll they're having a crack here when you're complaining about play the ball speed with six and a half to go you know you're still trying and that's what Agnes Dean is doing at dummy half she wants it quicker yeah, to the right side up. They've not given up the Cook Islands, you know, that they're still they're still getting getting forward, getting numbers in and just 
still turning up. Well, we've seen in a lot of the men's games, the, the consolation try has come off a kick, and they got a kick here on the last. This will be disappointing. They don't die with the ball. It's picked up by Korea Ratu. Now a chance for Matua in the corner. And uh, the Australians get a little bit of redemption on Kerry Matua, who has pulled off many strong tackles tonight. Yeah, and I, you know, apart from that kick that unfortunately they didn't score from, I, I, I can't see the Cook Islands getting away through this this Australian defence. It's been relentless, it's been ruthless. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be really hard to break down. So now with five and a half minutes to go, what we haven't seen is the really long range try, have we? Thinking back over the, the 74 and a half minutes. And uh, that ball, and there you go. There's another mistake by Australia. Just a little break. They were trying to pick up the tempo there, and the ball has ended up over the sideline. So hardly the desired result. There was no way Shazolka was going to get a hands on it. Uh, yeah, Sam Bremner. Certainly enough to work on here for Australia, as happy as they will be at, at a win first up. Cook Islands, another opportunity. They have time, they've got field position. Now they've got to try and manufacture something to get through this Australian defence. Agustin, uh, Linky up there with Natur, up in Natur there. Another proud mum that we're watching here. This time on for April Natur Puna. Put her off loud. About five offloads tonight, I reckon. Yeah, she's been good. She's carried well. She's been one of the, the stronger players for the Cook Islands. And, and again, just, just effort, doesn't give up and just keeps up. I, I don't think she's had a rest, has she? To Bo Wichman playing that ball. And court is Korea Ratu. Kept it alive. They are trying their best. Matua out to the corner. And Australia get numbers there. Everyone having a go, and uh, pull the tackle by uh, Polite at the finish determined put all of the weight into the tackle. She had a bit of momentum there. Again, they're just getting numbers in. It's 68-0. There's, there's three minutes left on the clock, and still they're getting three, four, three, four bodies in the tackle, and just not, just not letting up on this Cook Island side. They, you know, like Ali Brinshaw said at half time that they've, they've got standards that they've that they live and, and breathe by and I don't think they'll let up. Zelronga Kia was the player going for the corner. She she plays for the Rara Tonga Bears. That would have been a great moment to have one of the locals score the try. So late injury and uh, rain sweeping across the the ground again with three and a half minutes to go, Andrea. You have the job player of the match. I think I know who you're going to say. Who is it? it you know, it, you could have picked four or five. You know, there's... Johnson's really impressed me down the front row. Some little tip-ons and some strong carries. Uh, Taufo's been brilliant. You know, Kezi Apps again, that edge. Brigging Shaw and, and Aiken have run the show, really. But for me, I think Sam Brenner has been the standout player. Just, you know, a, a work rate effort. The try she scored, she's, she's turned up everywhere. You know, unfortunately for the Cook Islands, and just, just, yeah, has been brilliant across the park. So, yeah, player of the match for me is Sam Bremner. I wonder if she could salute with another try here. There is enough time. Sam Bremner, the Kazoo player of the match, as Australia with Aiken has got better and better. The Chillaroos through again. There's a range of players to pick from. There's no Sam Bremner there, but it is another try, and it is Taryn Aiken who scores it for Australia. Again, they're just showing the, the absolute quality they've got across the park, every single player, and it's again, it's just it's, it's hard to single one out. Again, you, you could have picked one to one to 17 today. I think a real a real dominant performance. Well, here is Aiken in a passing mode, then supporting back on the inside. That's a lovely construction, a constructed try, I should say. There's been a few of them for Australia. Port coming through and you know any range of Australians when you they say when you show those replay moments and you, you count the jerseys that are in it there were plenty there yeah and that's where they've been really you know head and shoulders tonight I think just the numbers the bodies around the ball the shape the push 
there's nobody's nobody's carrying the ball on their own they've got they've always got an option they've always got that push in every player searching for the ball from an offload and yeah the real quality and more points on the board for australia with that 90 seconds to go there it is aiken nicely done backing up for an easy one in the end but all the creativity was earlier to, to cut a hole in the cook islands defense i think you can see the time that the australian team has had together as well they've had a long time in camp they've had they've had a lot of time together you know over in australia and you can see how they work together how you know the ins and outs and they, they know how each other plays and and yeah it, it's really showing and again we have the the state of origin games in australia as well which is big match you know in the camp to prepare for a game yes it's new south wales against queensland now they're they're their teammates drop ball in goal they're going to get away with it australia there no they're not Shannon Martel, i tell you what if they rush to the scrum the cook yeah, islands they're not, they're not here could be rushing. the late try all right Come on, we need a bit of good juju here for the Cook Islands if they can come up with a, a four-pointer right on full time. They'll have a couple of plays. And uh, Korea Ratu got them going. Matua. Matua with three defenders on it. Oh, she's worked really hard as well tonight. Defensively as well as put some big shots on it. One last play, one lunge for the line. The full-time siren's going to sound. They won't get another play in the ball. They were desperate for another one. Cook Islands, but it's a shutout from the favourites with their first game at the World Cup. The defending champions, they're looking for three cup wins in a row. Their next opponent will be France, but here tonight in their first match, too good for the Cook Islands. Australia 74, the Cook Islands nil. <laughs> Well, we Australia there with a complete and dominant opening display for this World Cup. 14 tries, a flawless uh, way to kick off this international tournament. Four tries to co-captain Sam Bremner and what an incredible feat from Sammy in the first time we've seen her in the green and gold since 2016. It's like she's never left and in fact she's probably gotten even better. Congratulations to the Australian Jillaroos, Corbin Baxter and Tamika Upton are your experts right here on Fox League. A very happy camp there from the Aussies. Brad Don will be so relieved to get this underway in such an in convincing fashion. I guess just looking at the first uh, our first look really of the Australians, how have they come together? We know that the rise and the rise of the NRLW, the, the professionalism of our State of Origin series, is that what we're seeing play out here on, on such a big stage?